In case you don't know, I love NAS drives, network attached storage. I've been using QNAP's 472XT NAS drive for the past three months and it's been really fast, it's been really robust, I love it. I'm actually editing this video using it right now. It's got a Thunderbolt 3 port as well as 10 GBE. So what I've got right here is, this is OWC's Thunderbolt 3 10G Ethernet adapter and it adapts the Max Thunderbolt 3 port over to an RJ45. Now the reason one of these guys is really good is that RJ45, those guys can go up to 100 meters in length. So previously where I've been using a two meter Thunderbolt 3 cable, which just wasn't quite long enough when I have my standing desk raised, with this guy over here, I can go a lot further. So I'm gonna to cut to the chase straight away and I gotta say, I love this adapter. There is a big note. It doesn't go as fast as some of the other adapters I've tried, but this one is silent. It just has pure, solid, thick heatsink. Now regarding the speeds, when you first start using it, it does go just as fast as using a pure Thunderbolt 3 cable. However, after about a month of usage, I have found that it maxes out at around 500 megabytes a second. Look at that speed. So again, over a thousand megabytes a second. So it's 410 right and 750 read. And after about a month of pretty much constant use, the speeds are 400 right and reading is 450. I'm kind of a RAID 6 kind of guy, so that is more than enough for me. Oh, my speeds don't go that fast. However, if you want ultimate speeds, if you get yourself another adapter, which may be noisy, or using Thunderbolt 3 directly, which can't go as far as what an RJ45 cable can get you. But overall, I gotta say, I do love this drive. Now, there is a couple more notes. When you look at the adapter itself, it looks like the cable is directly plugged in and it's not replaceable. However, you can replace the cables. It does use a non-standard screw. It uses the pendulum style screw, so you're gonna need a special screwdriver, but you can unscrew the front and replace the cable yourself. You can even throw in a two meter cable, all that kind of stuff. So that is good news. It works on Windows, it works on Mac. For me, setting up on Mac was just a breeze. You just plug it in, it works. Uh, you do go into the settings and set up jumbo frames. Over the system preferences, what I've done, I've gone into network and selected my adapter, went into hardware and set it manually and configured it to use jumbo frames. So that's 9,000. That's pretty easy to do and you get a bit more speed by doing that. Over on Windows, Windows Update picked a driver and it just worked for me. However, if you go online on their website, there is other drivers you can download just in case the latest ones aren't updated on Windows Update. But for me, it just worked out of the box. You do also need to set up jumbo frames over there. So just go into settings, then network, and then you gotta select change adapter options. Then you'll see a new ethernet connection and go into properties. Whoa, where do we go? Configure, and then advanced. And somewhere here, we're gonna find jumbo frames. There you go, jumbo packet. And you wanna set that to 9K and that will be 9,000 bytes. Once you do that, it will disconnect and reconnect. And it works really well. Like uh, I was, uh, I moved over all my Steam library, all my games over to my NAS drive now and I'm just Windows gaming directly over my NAS drive. It works really fast and I'm very happy with it because it means I'm not filling up my Mac's hard drive with loads of games that uh, I can't afford to use all that space. So overall, I'm uh, very happy with, with this device. It isn't, again, as fast as some of the other adapters, but you do win because it's silent. It does get warm to the touch, but it's not gonna burn your hands. Look, I'm leaving it on there, all that stuff. Yeah, you can't, maybe you can fry an egg on it. I don't know, but my hand seems to be working really well. And uh, that's all I gotta say. Hope you enjoyed the show. I'm gonna show you the unboxing, what you get in the box, and the whole experience following this. But yeah, let me know what adapter you use. Is there a better one than this out there? I personally think this is the best one if you value noise. If you can't afford to have a fan, then this is the one to get. All right, enjoy the show. This has to be the best address in the world. It is New Concepts Development 8 Galaxy Way. Now this is a Thunderbolt 3 to 10 GBE Ethernet adapter. And the best thing about this device is that it doesn't have a fan. It just has a heatsink. Look at that. 
look it's one big solid brick and this my friends is all heat sink there's no fan it's just pure cooling now i want to do some tests i want to see if this runs at maximum performance for a long duration of time because i heard that the ones which don't have fans they suffer from poor performance when they get hot so i'm very excited to be testing out this device because i do not like noise and if this works, I'll be very happy. Now, the good thing about 10GBE is you can get cables, RJ45 cables, that go up to 100 meters in length. So it'll be close to your Mac, but there'll be no noise, and it can go up to 100 meters via an RJ45 cable. So let's see how this guy performs. All right, so I'm connected over in Windows. Setup was uh, just plug and play, really, and wait for the updates to occur. And over here, I'm connected to an SSD, which is plugged into my NAS. So getting some fast speeds over here that's pretty much the fastest i can get this ssd to go is 500 megabytes a second when it's connected directly to my computer but over the nas it runs slightly slower but 400 megabytes a second is pretty much how fast it writes to over thunderbolt 3 directly look at that speed so again over a thousand megabytes a second and that's primarily because i guess we're using the cache rather than the disk to get that performance and let's try this one at the same time yeah, it's a lot faster writing smaller files look at that look at that. at the same time boom look at that speed what so i've actually been using the adapter for over a day now i've just had it plugged in and just doing file operations all night long and it runs really fast um using the NAS drive so I've actually started moving over my Steam and all my games over to the NAS directly and I'll be showing you a, a game performance being run over the NAS so I don't have these this game installed on my computer on my Mac because that doesn't have much space I've actually got this game installed on my NAS drive and I can just play it directly off of that Sorry, got a little distracted, but as you can see, it plays really well. There's no notable stutters. So you can get some good gaming thanks to this uh, beautiful connection. Now, it is a bit warm to the touch, but the good thing about it is there's no fan. So I like it. 